are moments, I think, as a, as a songwriter, where um, you may be a little bit more vulnerable than others, and um, you may be a little bit upset. And then you play that song live, um, and and really, you're like the only group that I ever played this song for. So no one else in the country knows it exists. This is cheap, crass humor. I knew I would love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not the plug. I had a uh, I had a fairly nasty nasty breakup. Um, and uh, and so I, I, I ended up sort of living living back home with my with my parents. And uh, and I as I'm as I'm venturing to, to make the move into my next apartment, uh, I go on Craigslist. And I start realizing that my ex was selling all my fucking furniture. Uh, <laughs> um, so I, I had a I had a co-write with this amazing songwriter named Steve Seskin, and well, we were we were in a uh, basically a, a hotel in, in New Jersey for a couple days. So the first day we wrote a really serious song, and the second day I knock on I knock on his door, and he woke up with the, this idea for a chorus. He just opens the door and he goes, It's a bitch! When you found your couch on Craigslist and you didn't list it. <laughs> when we split up, I was trying to be kind. I said, Take your time, do whatever you have to do to get over me now that I'm over you three weeks later I was living with my mom getting a little tired of sleeping on a futon so I went online to see if I could buy a better night's sleep it's a bitch when you find your couch on Craigslist So I called Joe up and I said, what's shaking? He said, I bought a new table with six upholstered chairs. And I said, where? And I decided to give my ex a ring. Just the 
women. It's a bitch. It's a bitch. When you find your account. It's a bitch. And you didn't listen. It's a bitch. It's a bitch. When you find your couch on Craigslist. And you didn't listen. Take your time, do whatever you have to do. There's been nobody that has helped me as much as Seth. I am privileged to have you as my friend. 